One day on the island of Sodor, Nigel, the troublesome brake van, was finally was has finally been brought has finally been mended and cleaned up because he has returned from the works because for what Scarlow did to him when they last met but one but when they last met and finally Mighty Mac was gonna take him to Ben's goods train. Ben was still Ben was now on still waiting. Is he ready yet? asked Ben. Not yet, said Mac. Just then Just then Mighty spoke said this to Nigel. I hope you're gonna behave well again, he said. I hope you're gonna behave well again. Oh rip I hope you're gonna behave well, he said. Oh no, I won't, said Nigel. Shut up. Shut up, Nigel, said Mac. Well I well you make me think that I wanna bump you up. Bump you both, said that I wanna bump you both, said Nigel. And so Nigel was coupled to Ben's to Ben's good train. And then finally Matt Mighty Max puffed away and left the yard. While Ben is ready. And now he was ready to go. Is he Scarlowy's friend? Said. Said Nigel to the truck. He is. Said the truck. Remember? I know. Said Nigel. And so Ben. And so Ben. Puffing around, just then, he, just then, there was, just then, there was Duncan and Oliver. They were advising Ben about about Nigel, and so they have finished. And so Ben crossed away with the goods train once again. He hurried along the line and was ready to go. Now, and was ready to go, and now he was ready to go up the can the Grand Canyon. Ready and action, said Nigel. And they s said, "Ni, ready and action," said Nigel. But Ben didn't didn't hear what Nigel said, so he was determined not to f to fall into his tricks. While he was trying to concentrate right now, he was going through the line and was ready to go up. All right, all right, he said, but was desperate to get down. And then suddenly, suddenly, something happened. Something happened to him, and with that, he didn't know what he didn't know what was what was now on go. He didn't know what's still going on. So suddenly, he didn't know what it was. Ben came off the rails, and he could and he couldn't get, and he was still scared that he would fall down. Help! said Ben. I'm gonna said Ben. I'm gonna fall. So the truck bumped him harder and Ben So the truck bumped him harder and Ben fell down. And so Ben fell down into the ground below. Help and came off the rails. Ow! said Ben. And with the truck they came off the rails too. Fell down with Ben. The trucks were damaged and hurt. Deliveries were deliveries made Ben's paint scratched and it damaged Nigel's buffers and balloons popped and and poor Ben was still in was still 
in a very big mess. Now I'll never get back on the tracks, he said. Ha ha ha, said Nigel. Look what you've made us done. We followed you, Je we followed you, we followed you then, just then. Billy, Duncan, and Oliver came to find him. Are you all, are you all right? And so, Billy, Duncan, and, and Oliver came to find him. Are you all right, Ben? said Billy. I feel hurt, said Ben. And so, they fetched Rocky to clean up the mess. The trucks, the trucks. The other trucks were sent to the was sent to the works to be to be mended, except Nigel. They didn't. He everyone doesn't know what they were going to do to him. And with that, Ben had to go to the works as well. So Nigel was still broken and in smithereens. The fat controller was now on cross with him and said, "You've disappointed me again." Now you will go to the scrapyard. No, said Nigel. He knew it was too late now. That night, that night, Billy was ready to take him to the scrapyard. And then Nigel himself knew he had done something very silly again. And that was when he pushed Ben off the rails. <laughs>